Hey Rose Petals and Rose Fellows, it is Candace Rose and in today's video I am going to be recreating my makeup look. Yes, a makeup look from back in the day day, like back in 2013. And based off of these before pictures, it looks like I did not understand the concept or know the concept of highlighting, contouring, primers, or base. Cause who chow, even in my eyebrows is looking real sketch so if you want to see how i recreated this look keep on watching all right rose petals and rose fellows so i know this video may come off a little bit weird and um you see me talking in the video but it was raining outside i did not plan on doing a voiceover but it was raining like crazy and it just sounded like rain and static so I'm just gonna be doing a voiceover. So right now I am taking a flat concealer brush and the P. Louise eyeshadow base and I think it's shade one. Yeah, it's in shade one because we really want those colors to pop. And we're just gonna pity pat pat on that eyelid. And yeah, so we're just gonna pat on that eyelid. This is just so weird because I'm talking and I'm doing a voiceover at the same time. So this is so strange. So we're gonna take that flat concealer brush and that eyeshadow base, and we're going to pack that on the lid and bring it close to the brow bone. And y'all, please excuse my facial expressions. Like it was like super early in the morning. I was irritated, it was cloudy, and I was tired. So yeah, so just keep packing that eyeshadow base on the lid so you want to pack this on pretty smooth you don't want to have any patches anywhere you don't want to have your base to be opaque in one spot and not in the other so if you have to keep going back and patting that that base on then do so and you don't want to keep opening up your eye wide because it's just going to make the base crease up so you want to just pack that on and you know it's all about that base baby so you want to pack that on and make sure it's evenly distributed so to fix that just don't use so much base at one time just build that base up so now i'm going to take my real techniques deluxe crease brush and i'm just going to buff out those edges Open up, you open up, and you won't be my We should be closer than friends. So now we have those lines blended out. We are going to take some tape and we are going to tape off the eye so we can get that little sharp edge right there. So we're going to take some tape and just tape the eye off. You open up, and you won't be my so next we are going to take the BH Cosmetic Ultimate Matte 42 Color Shadow Palette. That is a whole mouthful. And we're going to take that burgundy color and we are going to apply that above the crease. Because we want to see that color when our eyes are open. And the brush I'm using is the Morphe Angel Merino A61 brush. Basically it's a crease brush. So get you a good, good crease brush and go ahead and just pack that right above the crease because like i said we want all the colors to show when our eyes are open so just keep packing it on there take your time it does not have to be perfect as you can see it looked like i was struggling a little bit but it's all right but just keep packing on that color it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to blend it out with a blending brush so keep going sis so now we are going to blend out that harsh line and I'm going to be using my Morphe M441 blending brush. So we're basically just going to blow the eye out. So you um, want to blend out that harsh line and you want to blend it towards the brow. And the brush does have a little bit of product on it, but use a very light hand and just keep blending, blend, blend. And you, like I said, you want to blend it towards the brow. And you really want to blow out that color. Okay, so now that first burgundy color is pretty much blended and blown out, we are going to take another crease brush. This is a Coastal Scents 
crease brush and we're going to take that deeper burgundy color out of the same palette and we are going to pack that onto the outer V. We're going to work it into the crease and as well as into the lid just a little bit. So you want to really take your time with that. And the tape helps a lot because it catches all the fallout and you get that sharp edge. So next we're going to take a makeup wipe and we are going to wipe off all of the makeup in our lid because we're cutting our crease so we don't want any of those burgundy colors to transfer onto the lid we want a nice clean lid and a nice clean cut crease so we are going to wipe all of that stuff off i know that we just put that base down but we're gonna wipe it all off sis i'm sorry so just wipe it all off and we're going to cut our crease so now that we have our lid cleaned up with that makeup remover wipe, we are going to take that P. Louise eyeshadow base in this more detailed concealer brush and we are going to cut out our crease. And like I said, I'm not the best at carving my crease, but I've gotten a lot better. I've come a long way and you want to work in small sections. You don't want to have a whole lot of product on your brush. You don't want your lid to be too wet. You just want it to be tacky. Let me tell y'all something. I was sleeping on this fucking brush. Like, I have brushes that I have flattened out using the Kiki Adams technique to flatten my concealer brushes. But this brush, I didn't even have to flatten it out. It is the bomb. So you just want to keep working that brush with that eyeshadow base. And it's all in the flick of the wrist so look at god that little brush did the trick didn't it so i did not close that cut crease all the way i left it open because we want to create a nice little gradient effect so i'm going to take a nice fluffy blending brush and i'm going to take that deep purpley burgundy color and i'm going to tap that eyeshadow in from the outer V and we're going to work it into the cut crease because like I said we're going to create a nice gradient effect so next we're going to take this mini eyeshadow palette by Tarte this is the Tartus Pro to Go eyeshadow palette and I'm sorry I did not show y'all the shade that I'm using but the shade that I'm using is Dominate it's like a burgundy shimmer color and you're going to overlap that color with the burgundy purplish color just to create that gradient effect and just keep packing that on next we're going to take this metallic eyeshadow from milani cosmetics in the shade bella copper and we're just going to pack that on the lid as well and we're going to overlap that over the shimmery burgundy color now I'm going to take this white shade from the original P. Louise palette and I'm going to take the shade Charm and I'm just going to pack that onto the lid as well. And I honestly was not trying to use a whole bunch of palettes, but this white is the whitest eyeshadow that I've ever used. Like it just goes on, it doesn't go on chalky. It's super, super pigmented, especially if you use the correct brush, because I use the flat um, eyeshadow brush. That thing goes on like a dream. So you can honestly put this white eyeshadow on first, and I should have put that on first, and then put the gold. I should have just worked backwards. So I should have put the white on first, then the gold, then the burgundy color, but it's okay. Cause I still was able to pull it off so you kind of want to go back with that gold metallic color and you want to like fade it into the white so it won't look so harsh so you just want to pack that on and give it a nice little transition and just keep on working with that color and off camera I've applied some matte liquid eyeliner by NYX and then I applied some lashes. These are the Creme Shop lashes in the style Cali. Now before we jump into our foundation routine, I just wanted to share this little hack with you guys. Lately I've been priming my skin with Calamine Lotion and my foundation has been super matte and super bomb. I know everybody is riding the Milk of Magnesia wave right now, but... 
Calamine lotion is a lot safer. Just use a thin coat, don't use too much or your foundation will be patchy and it's super cheap, it's only a dollar. After applying my foundation, I did use the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. And I had to mix the medium tan and tan together because the tan was too much of my shade. Like, it was too much of my skin tone. But I really love this stuff. It blended so well. It smelled so good. It smelled like coconut. And it was, like, super, super hydrating. And it really didn't increase that bad. So this is a A plus for me. I love this concealer. So because I could not find the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in a deeper shade to contour with, I am going to be contouring with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Beautiful Bronze, and then I'm going to blend that all out. And then I'm going to set my contour and highlight with setting powders. Now that our highlighter and contour is blended out and set, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powdered Bronzer in the shade cappuccino and i'm going to use that to bronze with so now i'm going to finish the look up with the Too faced melted chocolate liquefied longwear lipstick in the shade chocolate milkshake all right boys fellas and those fellas so this is the completed look and i feel like i did a pretty good job now i did switch out my lip color because i just was not feeling it I don't know. I, I, I see why that lipstick was marked down for so cheap because like it just felt real watery and liquidy. So I might end up throwing it away. I don't want to give it to anybody because it just didn't feel right to me. So I did switch the lip color out and I got another Too Faced lip product and this is the Too Faced Melted Latex liquefied high shine lipstick and this is in the shade of strange love and at first i was a little bit apprehensive on this shade because y'all like my y'all know i like my pinky nudes but this did turn out pretty okay like it, it looks i think it all came together so this is it and i just want to just tell you guys like this has been years and years and years of practice especially compared to you know my struggle makeup picture and i really thought back then i was really doing something that picture was taken back in 2000 i want to say 2013 so i really thought i was doing something then but looking back at it like you can clearly tell that primer eyeshadow primer or face primer did not exist in my world so just keep on practicing do not give up on yourself and just practice 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 and the key to a good eye makeup look is blending blending and using the right brushes so just keep on practicing don't give up on yourself i still have a lot to learn i feel like you know i've been doing this for so long that my makeup skills can be a lot better i should be a little bit more advanced than i am right now but you know i mean it's it's a marathon not a sprint so just keep on practicing and i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one